good day everybody I just did a painting over here on this side and um, you can't see it in the, in the, in the video but um, if you watch the previous video you will be able to see what I've used um, to do this one so new pigments done on a black surface and now we're going to be doing it on the white surface so we've got the purple spell coming up I don't have a lot we're going to do another I think we're going to do another um, negative space because um, no we won't we're just going to be doing puddle pouring because the pigment has so the resin is already starting to thicken up a little bit so um, just using the leftover from what I did before and this pigment is actually too golden now because I added a little bit of sun catcher to it and it just gives it you know that uh, beautiful beautiful spectacle of these golden specks you know just really really cool so we've got that there 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 okay then so some molten gold right in the middle just to separate these colors help them move a little bit everything is very dry I don't have any more resin left to to kind of cover it so I might go around with this one and this one was the uh, purple spell and I'm just going to go around with this one there's not a huge difference in color on the white um, background and as you can see this is looking quite opaque even though they are powder pigments Okay, let's just make some sort of a shape. I just go with whatever the painting is kind of leading me to do. This kind of went a little bit that way, so I thought I might just follow it. Let it tell a story. If you're coming to the Texas um, Resin Art Retreat, I will be there and we're going to learn all about letting go and following your intuition when it comes to doing artwork. That's all that one used up. Teeny little bit of that one left which I might just put over here just for fun of it. And I might just go a little drop of this purple um, Sorry, is that the one? Let me just check. Yep, that was the one. Purple diamond. Super, super shimmery purple colour with blue, blue undertones. Absolutely amazing. This is something that you can't capture on film. I'm going to add a little squirt of alcohol in here. If I can get some out, it would be great mix and then I've been working on with these pigments now for a little while so there's the resin is starting to harden and because um, today is a cooler day so it took a little bit longer to mix and then when you kind of heat it up again and again with the heat gun and then the cool weather, it just just makes it um, set a little bit quicker than you're used to. It's starting to look a little bit like a bird's eye, which is quite cool. And go around with this gold. It's not going to cover the whole thing. Oops, that did not want to work for me. Sometimes you have to slow down when you're doing the line just to help it drag out there. If we go too fast, it'll 
it'll stop in the middle of it and bang done oh my gosh the, the effects are really cool and then I've got uh, the plum delight I believe this one is I was apologizing in my last video because I got mixed up with which is which shade it's only because I go through so many of them and I name them some of them the ones that I decide to choose to go in in the store and offer it to people um, that I I do get confused with the new ones for the first time and then after that I'm fine they all I look for character I don't just look for the actual color I look for color of course but the character and the feeling it gives me I look at the undertones I do a lot of things in my life by feeling and I suppose most artists are like that you know but I do have to be very very practical as well as proactive so that's pretty cool Whoosh. that's looking really really interesting I've got a lot of this gold left so let's see if I can just go so you slow down to help that stretch as long as you can it stopped right there then I go back and forth a little bit and then start another oh doesn't want to work with me does it okay so I've used up all of my pigment I've just got the gold left but this one um, I'm gonna do oh obviously have to you can see that um, another coat just just with a, a simple background here but what to do with this is a good question. Um, this is really, really cool. Really cool. Let's get some heat onto it. quite happy with it you can see that I've lost that gold there which is great so I can use up some more I just want to put a little dot but if I can just find my little here it is just want to put a little dot of gold right in here just to give it an illusion of a, of a light reflection from from a light source Maybe one there and maybe one down here. I like creating artwork. I'm not one to just, you know, pour. I like to create stuff. I'm going to add a little bit more gold around here. Like that. Let's just go with it like so. And this is creating now. Let me just fix this one up, tidy it up a little bit. So this is creating some texture now. So when I put the next layer on, I will have texture because this is going to dry up like this. Ooh, totally purposely done, if you believe me. Here we go. Something different. Totally different and interesting. Whoops, that didn't work. There. Let's try that again, hey? There. Fix things. If, uh, if you get stuck, fix things. That's how you do it. Like now, I have to fix that little bit there, just like that. 
quite like it I think it's really interesting I can even put some black in between or some white in between because it's separate and it's lifted uh, well so this is getting nice and thick now so what I can do is keep adding more layers just going over because there's no nothing to help it move it sits up like this and that's what I'm doing just creating some texture and building it up one on top of the other and it will stay that I even like that kind of broken line one it looks quite awesome that one there's a bit thick so which one is that one goes over here let's try to match it you find that when you're doing stuff like this you forget to breathe which is um, what happens to me quite a lot Okay, that looks a bit messy now. Not happy with that, but it is what it is now. Wasn't supposed to be that thick. It looked quite nice before. Let me see if I can fix it up by doing this. Just gives it a really interesting kind of look. Like that gold there. Pull it through. quite um, interesting to say the least I really love it can't wait for second coat so I can you know put some uh, in between things but I do want to do some dots as well this I feel has moved a little bit so I'll move that up here just in case I just want to put some dots every maybe here like a little golden nugget right there maybe put one here don't have to put it right in the middle because uh, it does not have to be totally symmetrical and it doesn't have to be the same size so I might just go over here with it and that just reminds me of something Egyptian don't know you get these kind of feelings but this is what you can do with your resin which has started to set can't do it with or, or if you're using a really thick resin you can do it Just put a little bit here maybe not too many you can even dunk a little gem in there so it looks cool with that. I've got a tiny little bit. Let's see if I can just have enough to just put like a little dot right in there. Oh, please don't mess up now. Oh, that was lucky. Look at that. That's so cool. Maybe a tiny little bit coming in here. Oh, yep. Okay. Quite interesting. And now a little dot. Just pick it up. 
right in the middle there. This looks like another eye or something. There you go. How interesting is that? And all these cells that I'm getting here from that gold is just really, really cool. What I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of this gold left. I'm going to try not to mess it up, but I need to add some more gold here. And I need to add a little bit more support for my cup because I feel that it's um, leaning to one side for some reason. My eye's kind of gone that way. And so I'm just going to add a little bit of support under it. Not too much. And then add a little bit of this gold. It's so thick and cool. Awesomely cool. I'm going to start over here on this thick part. Go fast and then slow down. Do the same thing over here. Slow down. Nice and slow. Nice and steady. It's starting to look a little bit more balanced now with the gold. Okay. Actually, I'm thinking maybe I need to fill that in a little bit just to give it a little bit more lift it up a bit oh that's pushed it down that's not good Just creating something new and up there you can't see but down here all these little movements with a stick it just it just makes some really amazing amazing effects don't really want to touch it anymore I quite really like it. I even like that empty space there although maybe I can just fill it in a little bit what can I grab what can I scoop up a drop out of this one here. Just put that right in there. Then use my skinny stick to fill it in like that. Just like that. Okay. How long have I been going on with this one? Where's the timer? I can't see, but it feels like it's been going on for ages. And each time it touches the other pigments, it pushes them. That's why I'm pushing it up like this, because I know it's not going to go up further than that.
Did I say I'm going to finish with it and not touch it anymore? <laughs> Pretty sure I did. But I can't help myself. It's calling me. It's telling me. Not literally, but um, you know what I mean. It's just calling me to keep doing these things with it. And you can't help the artist kind of flow. It's what it's all about. And I can't wait to see this piece when it all... Sorry, just chasing a little fruit fly, which I don't want it in here. Can't wait to see when it's all set up. Now you can see these things are kind of changing already. So now what I'm going to do is just going to pull it out again to break it. Creates another effect right there. Like when I used to do nails and I used to do all kinds of cool little things with the nails and this one's going to go over this way. Just like that. And it's not going to stay like that, I'm sure of it. It's just, it's all going to change, but quite like it. going to bring you down so that you can have a look. And I think I need to leave it alone now. And uh, that's it for that one. Here it is. You can check out the colors. See that gold and molten gold just uh, does amazing things. Colors are amazing. There's that eye looking thing. And you can see how that resin, that gold, is just sitting on top like that. Which is, it's going to be great once I cover it and fill it in. So there you have it. I quite like it. Hope you liked it too and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.